Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you another approach that I use, a personal favorite, a personal favorite of mine, computing square and the method of comparing coefficients. Alright, now with computing square this falls under the whole realm of the quadratic equation and quadratic curve. And you are learning how to do this as just a procedure. A quadratic quadratic shapes exist everywhere. For example, this drawbridge. Alright, as well as the shape of this rope. It's the shape of a quadratic curve. Alright, it exists all around us. And not just only limited to a maths lesson. Alright, now this approach I usually give to my more advanced students. I'm sharing this with you. Alright. I'm hoping that you will learn something out of this. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, so exactly what is this computing square process? What is the big deal about it? What is the big hype about it? Well, computing square is just a process of transforming the quadratic here into this force. A in bracket x plus h or to be squared plus q. So take the quadratic here and get it back into here. Alright, e, h, and k gives certain information about the quadratic itself. Alright, it gives you the idea of the shape, the turning points, and the intercepts. Alright, alright now, to see a more detailed explanation of what is computing square, you can go to my channel. Alright, here I covered what is computing square, what are the processes, what are the details that I have done here very exhaustively and very extensively across this. Again, if you like what you are seeing, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. More videos to come. And again, I usually give show this to my main, to my more advanced level students. Alright, the Unos. Alright, is another alternative approach. Which is very much underestimated. Alright, I remember we have said that companies could apply for quadratics. Alright, so let's start with case one. When your e is one. Alright, so you have here this x squared alone. So complete the square of x squared plus 3x plus 1. Is this a quadratic? The answer for answer is yes. Because the highest power of x is 2. Alright, see that? And it also fits the bill of ax squared plus bx plus c. E is 1, b is 3, c is, c is 1. Alright, now we want to transform this into this form. So the first thing we do, we equate this here to a open bracket x plus h or to the squared plus k. Alright, so we equate this here to this. Now notice our a here is 1, so this a becomes 1. So this really becomes, this here really becomes x plus h or to the squared plus k. So this is where the really boils out. And now we can expand this right hand side. Alright, so when you expand the right hand side, we get x plus h or to the squared plus k. We expand here by using a method of FOIL. So any method you choose to expand this bracket here. Alright, uh, when we simplify this, we get x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus k. Alright, now remember our value of e is 1, so that's one less thing to figure out. Alright, so all we need to work out here is the value of h and k. Alright. Now to get this, we're going to compare the coefficients of the, the B term right, and the C term. Alright, so we're going to compare the HX here with your BX and compare C with H squared plus T. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright, so we're going to compare this 3 with this 2 each here and compare this 1 with this H squared plus T. Alright. Alright, so we take the 3 x and compare the 2 h x. We have 3 is equal to 2 h. We have the h is equal to 3 on 2 or 1.5. Try our best to keep this into fraction form. Alright, compare the constant term. Now if we want to have h squared plus k, alright, we already know what is the value of h. Substitute inside here. So this follows inside here. Alright, then okay, 9 on 4. Alright, make key the subject formula, you get negative 5 on 4. So k is equal to negative 5 on 4. So in color, 
So the conclusion that E is equal to 1, E is equal to 3 and T is equal to negative 5 and 3. Alright, then substituting this back into the form that we wanted, which is E open bracket X plus T is equal to the square plus T, get X plus 3 and T is equal to the square minus 5 and 4. Congratulations, you have now completed the square using the method of comparing coefficients. Alright, so this is when E is equal to 1. What happens when E is no longer 1? When that is when E is positive and when E is negative. Meaning that E is greater than 0 and E is less than 0. What becomes the have of that case? Okay, so let us consider the, the example of computing the square of 3x squared plus 4x plus 5. Our E here is 3. Here our E is 3, our B is 4, and our C is 5. Alright, so A, B, and C exist. Highest power of x is 2. Alright, so we equate. 3x squared plus 4x plus 5, a open bracket, x plus h or to be squared plus t. Alright, this symbol here means is equivalent to. Alright, this means equal in, in, in every sense. This would be equivalent to something. Alright, now the coefficient of a here is 3. Alright, so automatically this e becomes 3. Alright, so we can rewrite this as 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 3 open bracket x plus h or to be squared plus t. Now we're going to expand this here. So when you expand the right hand side, you get 3 open bracket x plus h or to be squared plus t. Expand in here, paying attention to your brackets, paying attention to your FOIA method, we end up getting this here as the final answer. 3x squared plus 6hx plus 3x squared plus t. Alright, now we already know the value of e is 3. So all that left to work out now is the value of h, t. Alright, so we're going to take the 4x, and we have 4x, and equate to 6h, and we're going to take the 5, and equate to 3, e squared plus t. Alright, Alright, so we're going to equate some terms now. Right, let's look at the equation of these problems. Alright, well, it's 3x squared plus 4x plus 5. So 4x is already equal to 6hx, alright, so we that h is already equal to 2 thirds, alright, yeah. now you need to take this value now, alright, so we take the 5 and equate to 3h squared plus t, alright, when you make k, the subject the formula, you get 5 minus 3h squared, remember that h is already equal to 2 thirds, substitute, simplify, alright, when you do that, you get 5 minus 4 and 3, Take the LCM, then get a k is equal to 11 and 3. Alright, so to conclude this, alright, to conclude this now, 3x squared plus 4x plus 5, we are doing less. The task of computing the square, this is where it becomes 3 open bracket x plus 2 and 3 all to the square plus 11 and 3. Congratulations, we have just completed the square by using the method of comparing coefficients, which is also an alternative way of doing the same thing. Alright, yes, I'm not computing square. You can actually take, um, factorize the half equation for the and go down the road. Alright, you have a million and one different ways of computing the square. Alright, there yeah, are more than one ways of computing the square. Alright, you can even look at that graph. Alright, this is just another way of doing it. This one is happening to be one of my personal favorites. Alright, case 3. When the e is negative or negative e, right? Such is uh, such is the case of this. Complete the square minus two x squared plus five x plus one, or in a very thorough mathematics term, negative two x squared plus five x plus one. All right, so we going to start by equating this to a open bracket x plus h of e squared plus t back to the form. Alright, All right. if you notice that your value of x squared here is, is negative 2. Alright, so your a here is negative 2, your b is 5, your c is 1. Alright, so you can actually replace your a here with negative 2. Alright, so you're actually substituting your a here as negative 2. So this really becomes minus 2 open bracket x plus h of e squared plus k. But from here on end, you need to pay attention to your signs and the directed numbers. 
Okay, so that's a very big assumption. So you're going to expand this here. And from there, you're going to um, compare coefficients. All right. So. All right, so when you expand the right-hand side, you get minus 2, open bracket, x plus h or p squared plus k. Expand this here. Pay attention to this negative 2 on the outside. Then minus 2x squared minus 4hx minus 2 p squared plus p. All right, we already know that the value of p is negative 2. We need to look at the value of h and k. All right, to do this, we're going to equate the 5x to the minus 4h. I can equate the 1 that we had to minus 2e squared plus p. And now we start started off with 2. Alright, so remember was well, minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. So you're going to take the 5 and equate to the negative 4h here. And we're going to take the 1 and we're going to equate to minus 2e squared plus p. Alright, so 5x is equal to minus 4hx. So you get that h is equal to minus 5 on 4. Alright, or negative 5 on 4. Alright, so you need to work out now the value of p. Alright. Alright, so 1 is equal to minus 2 a squared plus k. You already know the value. You're going to rearrange this now to work out for k. Alright, so you got k is equal to 1 plus 2 a squared. So I'll just take this minus 2 h squared here, carry it across on the left hand side, so I cannot get them. k is equal to 1 plus 2 a squared. Alright, so we transpose here a little bit. Alright, we are already know the value of h is minus 5 over 4. Substitute, simplify. This is 25 on 16. So we write boys down to 25 on 8. Alright, so take the LCM and here is the value of 33 on 8. So, to conclude this. Alright, so in conclusion, to put everything together. Alright, so we can rewrite this as minus 2 open bracket x minus 5 on 4 all to be squared plus 2 to 3 on 8 all right so our h becomes minus 5 on 4 and k becomes 2 to 3 on 8 and k becomes negative 2 congratulations you will have just completely squared by the method of comparing coefficients trophy and handshakes all right to summarize the method of completing the square by using Comparing the coefficients. Alright, as I take a open bracket x plus h all to be squared plus k, expand this out. Alright, now when you finish expand that, alright, first of all, you to examine your value of a. Alright, expand all this here. Alright, expand all this here. And then compare this with the, what is given to you, the quadratic that is given to you. So you're going to compare that and then you're going to compare the coefficients. To derive your values of a, h, and k. And that's what it is. Congratulations, you have just completed the square. Alright, completing the square quadratics forms a whole big area of study, which can be applied not just only to mathematics, but it crosses over into various disciplines and various fields of higher studies. Alright, so um, keep with it. I know it seems daunting at times. Alright, I hope you learn something out of this. I hope you can take this to the next level. Alright, keep at it and everything will become clearer with time. Alright, just stick with it and keep at it. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye.